What is the Lord speaking through Jeremiah in chapter 10 of Jeremiah, verse 2? What is he trying to get across to his people? Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs in the heavens, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Some translations say, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the pagans, and be not in awe of the signs in the heavens that you see, for the pagans are in awe of them. This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2, if you're interested in learning more about the scriptures and what the scriptures have to say about this so-called quote-unquote alien phenomena. I want to go to, let me see here if I can bring this up for you. <clears throat> All right. Uh, there's a video here that I found on RT News where these white orbs or craft were seen flying over the Manhattan sky. I believe what we are seeing are inter interdimensional beings, they're angelic craft, and scripture tells us that Satan is the prince of the power of the air for a reason. These are interdimensional beings, and Satan left and his angels left their proper place according to scripture in Gen um, Genesis 5 and 6 in the book of Enoch, and Paul states this as well. And mixed with strange flesh, meaning man. I believe, and this is my opinion, search the Lord on this, that the promised seed in Genesis that God said would come is the Messiah, is Christ, and that Satan wanted in his own way to stop the promised seed from coming by polluting the DNA of mankind. And when he failed at that, uh, he then cited, uh, incited King Herod's heart to have all the baby boys under the age of two murdered to prevent Jesus from fulfilling his mission. However, I believe what you are seeing goes all the way back to Genesis, and in this last hour we are seeing this taking place with these phenomena, these signs that Jeremiah 10 2 tells us are in the heavens are becoming more pronounced, especially as we near closer and closer to the Lord's return. So I want to play a video for you that I thought was very interesting. Let me see if I can get it to the very beginning here. Crowds in New York have had their eyes to the skies in an alleged UFO sighting. Dozens of videos posted online show passers-by seemingly staring at a group of unidentified flying objects in the sky over Manhattan. Adding mystery to the event is a prediction by a retired air defense officer. In a recent book, he claimed that on October 13th, the day of the sighting, of course, a fleet of UFOs would hover over the world's principal cities. Well, many witnesses insist that's indeed what they were seeing, uh, alien spaceships, while others say it looked more like a group of hot air balloons. All right, these, uh, if you could make it out, these were white orbs that were flying over New York City. Uh, let me see here, I'm going to bring the scripture back up. So these signs in the heavens that the Lord is telling Jeremiah to speak to the people about, uh, the pagans followed them as gods. These fallen angels, these interdimensional beings came down in these craft and wanted to be worshipped as gods, which shouldn't shock us because Satan and Isaiah said, I will be as the Most High. He even demanded worship from Christ himself in the desert. So, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed or in awe at the signs of the heavens. There are interdimensional beings masquerading as aliens. Uh, there, there are doctrine out there telling people that they are our creators. Uh, <laughs> Satan... Um, mixes truths with uh, lies. In Genesis, we are told that the angels mix their DNA with man. However, they are not our creators. Uh, I believe this is why the flood happened. The Nephilim were on the earth, the giants in those days. We're being told in this last hour in, from the world system that we're not alone in the universe. We're being visited by beings from other worlds. I do not believe this. I believe these are the angels that are spoken of in scripture that left with Satan and rebelled against the Lord. And I believe they did mix their seed with the seed of men. Uh, Daniel even prophesied of this. I'll have to bring it up for you in another video. And I believe this lie that's being propagated is that they are our creators, that we're not alone in the universe. Uh, this is the part of the great deception that's coming. The Vatican is heavily tied in with this. They have a telescope called Lucifer, and they use a lens called the uh, Santilli lens, I believe it's called. Here, let me look that up real quick. I had it on here not long ago. Uh, here it is, the Santilli lens. Let's see if I can get this up for you. The Santilli lens right here. Uh, hopefully you can see that on the bottom. That Santilli lens is looking into the infrared. So what is the Vatican Lucifer telescope looking for? They're looking into the infrared to see those entities, those interdimensional beings. The Vatican has been known to say, including Pope Francis, that he would baptize aliens. 
So this alien agenda, in my opinion, is none other than Satan masquerading as an alien. It's just another way to present himself as a lie to humanity. Uh, there have been cultures where they worship people that uh, fly airplanes. Uh, they're, you know, back, I believe it was in the World War II era, if I'm correct, uh, a group of men flew into a deserted area um, and uh, where a tribal area was flourishing and these people saw, this tribe saw these men land in an airplane and began to worship these men because they came down in an airplane. So how easy would it be for humans to worship these fallen angels or interdimensional entities thousands of years ago as gods? Uh, we have these drawings all over the Egyptian um, temples uh, the Aztecs, the Mayans, ancient culture, all depicting these entities coming down in interdimensional craft. Satan is called the prince of the power of the air in the scriptures, and I believe what we are seeing and is not going away anytime soon are these same entities and interdimensional beings that are spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly realm, scripture says, mm -hmm. being more prevalent today, masquerading as aliens and telling people we're not alone in the universe. And the Vatican is heavily involved in this alien agenda. Please do your research and notice this. And their telescope is named Lucifer. Why would you, if you're the one true church, as they purport, have anything to do with a telescope that had Lucifer attached to it? Their lens is looking in the infrared, and they're not just looking into the solar system and the galaxy for um, astronomy purposes and learning things about God's creation. That's the cover. What are they really looking at with this infrared lens? I think that that's easily understood. Uh, there'll be more to come on this subject as the Lord gives me information, as the Lord leads. These white orbs that you saw in that video, I myself have seen them before in the skies in different places in the country. Uh, I've seen them materialize and dematerialize right in my neighborhood. Just, you know, my sons and I were in the backyard one time and they were there and then just literally disappeared and dematerialized. Uh, these things are real. People aren't crazy when they say they see these things. Are there some explainable craft in the skies? Absolutely, there are man-made craft that can be explained in the skies. I'm talking about these interdimensional phenomena that we see, and they are real. Otherwise, God would not have told Jeremiah in chapter 10, verse 2, to not be awed at the signs in the heavens. You're looking at what the world calls an alien visitation. These are the same entities and interdimensional beings that followed Satan in rebellion against God thousands of years ago and now disguising themselves as something completely different. Completely different, but the same things. The, nothing new under the sun, Ecclesiastes says. Thank you for listening, and I hope you tune in soon for more.